Hey what's up guys it's Aptrix here today we'll be taking a look at a brand new windows emulator for android known as Vectras which can emulate windows all the way from windows 95 to windows 10. I can just tap on the windows button and immediately you will be able to see the entire windows 7 start section open on my android device. Unlike the emulators like mobox etc which are wine based this is instead Q emu based. I'll be talking more about it later on in today's video including setup minimum requirements and much more. So before starting if you guys are new here please be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel with that being said let's get started let's start by talking about the name of this emulator it is known as vectras vm android it is available on its official github page it is a virtual machine app for android which is based on qemu it has the capability to run react OX, xp windows 7 kali linux and even windows 10 in its latest version anyways here are the minimum system requirements mentioned by the developer himself android version 5 or about 3 gb of ram 8 cores, Snapdragon 450 at least and a cell phone, obviously and there is a giga chat picture so you gotta be a giga chat if you want to emulate windows with the help of vectra simulator anyways let's scroll down to the recommended system requirements where if you want good fps you'll need to get these minimum requirements android 11 or above 8 gb of ram 4 gb should be free ram 8 core snapdragon 720g processor or better vectra simulator is currently closed source though the developer has provided previous open source code currently they are working on rebasing the projects and don't be mistaken guys this simulator is still in its alpha stages it doesn't work even on an android 14 device so lot more to come in its upcoming updates which i'll be definitely covering on my channel with that being said let's move forward towards the setup best settings and test so right here as you guys can see i have added the vectras version 2.7 this build was released i guess about a month ago the latest build is 2.8 but it is currently in beta stages and it is not recommended by the developers to try it out it is vectras 2.8 version Anyways, once the emulator opens, you'll see an UI similar to this. Uh, when you open it for the first time, there will be an sign in or sign up option. You just have to tap on the guest mode option and then uh, we would be all set. Now, if you just go ahead and tap on this button, then you'll be able to see a lot of uh, operating systems that are supported by Vectras. For example, Windows 1.0, Windows 95, Windows 98, x86 as well as x64 builds are present. It is also capable of running Android which is very surprising. Not just that but if you go to the Apple section you will be able to see Mac OS X 10.4 as well as Mac OS X 10.5 are also present. Uh, in terms of Linux you get React OS, you also get Kali Linux etc. In terms of other OS you can check it out right here. Anyways for today's video we'll be mainly focusing on Windows. You'll be able to see that Windows 10 is present. Windows 8 is also present which is what we'll be trying to run in our today's video because I'm really interested in it. To get started you'll just have to tap on the import button and make sure to import Windows 8 on the Vectra simulator. Once it starts importing you'll be able to see and loading like this. You just have to wait for a few minutes until it has been successfully imported. Uh, basically you'll need good amount of storage according to the uh, Windows version which you'll try to emulate. Windows x86 is best supported. Uh, if you try out Windows x64 then you might face some crashing issues. If you try this emulator on Android 14 device then it is completely no go. You shouldn't even waste your time because whenever it will try to launch itself you will get an white screen. Anyways once it has finished importing you will be able to see an UI similar to this. Now what we will need to do is apply the best settings or at least some of the settings which I was able to figure out. So if we just head on over to the QEMU section you will get a lot of options uh, which we can use to customize the CPU model. Choose the CPU model according to the presets which are present here. We can choose Celerion, Core 2 Duo, Intel i7 9 generation, Intel Xeon, Intel Core processor etc. Even AMD Optiron processors are available. For today's video we'll go with Intel Core uh, 2 Duo. Afterwards you can also set CPU cores. For example you can go all the way up to 6 cores. I recommend you guys to keep it at 2 to 3 core depending on your device specification. Also make sure to turn on custom memory and set the memory size to uh, somewhat higher according to the windows platform which you'll try to emulate. We will set it around 2 GB and once that has been done I'll head back then uh, other settings are as follows so you can go to the main settings where it will just check for software updates. In terms of interface you only get night mode. In terms of VNC UI you can enable external VNC but we won't be doing that. Let's just go back and tap on windows 8 and now we'll be trying to emulate windows 8 on our android devices as you guys can see it is saying booting from hard disk now uh, it will take around two to three minutes for an operating system to start on your android device and uh, there we go guys we have the windows logo now i haven't done any testing on vectra simulator yet for example testing 
Windows games on Android. I can think of doing that if this video reaches 250 likes. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I'll be uploading more videos on this emulator in future. Well, while it's loading, obviously, as you guys know, Windows takes a lot of time to load. Let me explain some of the other features. So if you tap on the center option and then tap on this button, then it will provide you with an gaming layout. So obviously, the developers are aware that you can use this emulator for gaming purposes as well. If you just go ahead and tap on this option, it will give you the desktop icons, the desktop layout. And there we go. Please wait. Welcome. Now, uh, I had to pause the video for about 20 to 30 seconds because it was showing a black screen. And after the black screen was over, our windows is about to start. So be patient. Uh, don't panic if you see a black screen uh, because it's all about waiting when you try opening windows on a low end Android device. This actually uh, is my Xiaomi 11T Pro with Snapdragon 888 processor. So it's not a low end Android device, but uh, most of the time you'll have to wait until the emulator starts and there we go guys windows 8 has successfully started on our android device and this build of windows 8 isn't properly loaded that's why we aren't seeing any uh, chrome or firefox in it unlike the windows 7 build which i tried out and showcased to you guys earlier and at the bottom you'll be able to see it says windows 8 and the build number so yeah it's going to be a bit difficult to see how well does these emulators actually work on android but i would be most interested to try out windows 10 on this emulator so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see that video as well it will be coming pretty soon till then thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye